And my name is Ryan Moore. I have a small development company, and the point of an Ignite session is to hopefully get you excited and pumped up about something that I'm excited about. Sorry about that. And one of the things that we love doing is building functionality in Dynamic websites with Xmod Pro. Xmod Pro is from DNN Dev. You'll find it at dnndev.com. And uh, basically, we've been building websites for a long time with Dynanuke, and in the past, you had a couple of options. You either went to the store site and you bought modules and hoped you could customize those, or you'd spend weeks and build your own custom .NET uh, modules. But we like to tell you that there's a third option, which is being able to build uh, custom functionality through Xmod Pro. The main thing about Xmod Pro is that you do not have to be a developer to use it. You don't have to use uh, or know .NET. You're building with simple syntax and simple structure. Um, you may have seen us around. We've uh, been giving out these uh, orange shirts. We'll talk about some more of the ones that we're going to give away in just a little while. Um, but uh, hopefully some of you have used Xmon Pro or at least heard of it. Um, but uh, as I said, it's uh, made by DNN Dev, and it's one of those products that we found early on in .NET Nuke, and we've stuck with it ever since. You'll find that uh, DNN uh, designers love using it. What's worse than skinning something and then having a module that you don't have control over and you can't control the way it looks? Um, you can control everything with Xmod Pro with the things you build. We consider ourselves integrators. We love using it. Um, what are people building with, uh, with Xmod Pro? Everything. There's nothing a client can bring me that I can't build with Xmod Pro. Lists, forms, galleries, um, feeds, data connected flash items. Um, we'll talk about uh, some more of the things uh, that we have as examples in a minute. Um, how do you work in Xmod Pro? You work with HTML, CSS, jQuery, simple syntax, XML, and data tokens of Xmod Pro. You work in three types of things, forms, templates, and feeds. Forms, uh, we have a, uh, an example of a quick form builder wizard that allows you, if you have your data already set up, to in about five seconds, maybe six seconds, take your data, make a form, you're done. Or you can build it by, by hand with code, but either way, you have all of the form elements that you'd expect to have. Uh, you've got drop-down lists, multi-select, uh, dual list, uh, um, HTML module. You've got all the standard trappings. You can build your own. If you want to roll your own custom .NET form uh, element, you can do that with custom controls. Uh, the second item is templates. Templates allow you to display your data. Think of it as your record set that's being returned back. So this is loops, this is record lists of items, this is clicking and going to a detail level of a page uh, of content, and you put that together in um, code. Um, one of the things that's uh, fantastic about uh, kits that we'll talk about in a second is that uh, for Dave, Don, and Nuke, for instance, uh, in about an hour, we took the data that we had on hand, took a calendar module Xmod Pro kit, and we were running in just a few minutes with uh, data and put together a calendar for it. The third item are feeds. Feeds exist outside of the .NET Nuke structure. So anything that you need to create that needs to not have that structure around it, like CSV files, Word documents, Excel files, um, media, RSS feeds, those are all built with feeds. So you take these three things together and you put them together and you can build just about anything. But where do you start? Uh, they have produced module kits. Module kits are like the instruction kits that might come with a box of Legos. They're ready to use, they're example code, they're example instructions that tell you how to do what you want to do. You'll find them for free on the .NET Nuke store and on dnndev.com. Uh, you can go and download those and just get started. Take it apart, figure out how it was built. Uh, there are lots of module kits that are out there and um, some of the ones that we've used or shown in presentations are all out there for free as module kits. How much does it cost? $150 per license, or you can get a five pack for about $100 each. Um, licenses are one license per .NET Nuke instance. So portals, uh, number of portals, number of domain names, doesn't really matter. Um, what are people saying about Xmod Pro? We've loved talking with uh, everybody at the convention. People are excited about using it. I hear people say all the time, the things that I can do with XMP take hours, whereas it would take me two weeks to build it. Personally, I like to say that Xmod Pro is a must-have for your development toolbox. Try it out. Trust me. I think you'll believe me afterwards that uh, it's a quick way to get through rapid development without having to know .NET, without having to roll, compile, and prepare your modules. It's a foundation for you to work on top of. Now, one of the things we've been doing, reaching out to the community and talking with folks, is that we've had a few giveaways. We'll do some more here at the end of the day after the wrap-up. But uh, one of the things is that everybody should leave with a free demo. Uh, you can use the QR tag. You can go to the website. The main point is that it runs forever on localhost. Uh, if you install it live, it'll run for 30 days on a domain name or a live location. Your next steps at this point are go download a demo. Go download some module kits so you can start playing around with it. But as the slogan for Xmod Pro is, your next point to go to is 
Go build something. Thank you.